Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you are new, welcome. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do before you leave, that would be amazing. So as of recently, obviously I haven't been leaving my house due to the isolation, which I'm not gonna talk about because I feel like everyone's talking about it and I don't wanna talk about it in this video. But obviously because I haven't been leaving my house, I've been spending a lot more time making YouTube videos, Instagram videos, all of that good stuff. And I've also spent a lot of time online shopping, which I'm sure a lot of people probably have because there's kind of nothing else to do. Like during the day, I just Find myself going online having a look at the deals because there's a lot of sales on at the moment and as a result of that I've ended up buying so much makeup like I can't even tell you how much makeup I've actually bought in the past few weeks kind of been online shopping more for makeup because I don't really see a point in shopping for clothes because we're not really leaving the house at the moment so I have the biggest box like this box is filled to the brim like I'm talking this box goes all the way down and it is filled with brand new makeup that I have just bought and I haven't, I've used like a couple of the bits, I haven't really used it properly though. Like I've literally used maybe one or two things once or twice but other than that this is all going to be kind of like first impressions. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. I've got a mixture of Charlotte Tilbury stuff, I've got some Revolution Pro, the new Revolution Pro things, I've got some Beauty Bay bits, I've got some Code 8 things and I've just got kind of like a mixture. I ordered from quite a few different websites so yeah I'm going to be trying them out on my face today so the first thing that I'm going to go in with is the elf this is the poreless putty primer now I actually have had this for quite a while so this is the only thing that I haven't bought recently so this primer is said to be really good for kind of like open pores and I don't really have open pores on my whole face I kind of just have them like here around my nose and in the center of my face that's just where I'm going to be putting this primer I don't always use a primer every day anyway so primers are kind of like give or take for me so next I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury under eye color corrector and this is the magic vanish in the shade one now I don't usually use color correctors under my eyes but this is a kind of newer product from Charlotte Tilbury and I hadn't tried it out and when I did an order on there the other day I thought I would pick this up because my under eyes have been really dark recently so I thought I would treat myself to a under eye corrector corrector by the way I did actually do a Charlotte Tilbury haul so I didn't do a haul with all of this makeup I did a separate Charlotte Tilbury haul which some of these products are going to be shown in this video but if you wanted to see that video then I will link it down below because that's the video that I just filmed so this is like a creamy kind of consistency and this is the lightest shade obviously because I'm quite fair and I'm going to be putting this on with my fingers and I'm going to be doing this before I do any foundation and concealing because ideally color correcting would go underneath your kind of other base products It's definitely brightened me up and I feel like for no makeup days this would be a really good product just to put on. It's not really like too orangey like other colour correctors that I've used like you could almost get away with just having this on and nothing else if you wanted more lighter makeup. So for foundation I have this Revolution Pro one. This is a new one that they've just come out with and this is the CC Cream Perfecting Foundation with SPF 30. I got this in the shade 2.5 and I had to kind of just pick my shade off the website like I didn't really obviously see swatches before I ordered it but I actually pretty much got the colour spot on. I have already used this once before and I did remember really really liking it when I first tried it but I only had it on for a few hours so I'm going to leave it on for a bit longer today and we're going to see how it lasts throughout the day. The only thing is the pump is a bit oh the pump is a bit temperamental like you kind of pump it and nothing comes out so I'm going to take about two pumps on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply this with a beauty blender because I applied it with a brush the other day and it kind of went a bit streaky so I feel like today I want to try it with a beauty blender just to see how it looks as you can see this color is literally pretty much perfect for me which is such a fluke like how did I even do that Okay, so that is what the foundation looks like, kind of fully blended on my face. I'm just going to zoom you in so you can see a little bit better. It's definitely got more of a kind of glowy finish. It's not on the matte side, I would say. This is kind of like a semi-matte slash glowy. It is definitely quite full coverage as well. I'd say this is a high medium slash full coverage. It is quite detectable on the skin. Like, you can tell that I've got foundation on. Don't let the name CC Cream fool you into thinking it's like a lightweight. This is actually quite full coverage foundation. I'm just going to pop some lip balm on. This is a brand new one that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. And this this is the Hot Lips 2 collection in the shade Igmatic Edward and this is basically just a clear lip balm but I really like this for putting on before makeup because it's kind of like a matte finish so it sits really well underneath lipstick. So next for concealer I'm going to be using this one from Code A and this is the Seamless Cover Perfecting Concealer in the shade NC10. I have tried this once or twice before as well because I used it in an Instagram video a few days ago but I haven't really tested it properly so this is kind of like a first impressions sort of. So it comes with one of these 
kind of like spongy applicators which I personally don't mind I know a lot of people don't like them because they're unhygienic but I personally don't mind them I'm just gonna blend that out underneath my eyes with this sponge I did actually notice the other day with this concealer that it didn't really crease on me as much as other concealers usually do which is obviously a really good thing yeah that's given me really nice coverage it doesn't look too kind of cakey underneath my eyes even though I've got that kind of color corrector underneath so I actually really like that and the color is pretty perfect for me as well it's not too light but it's definitely a tiny bit brighter than the rest of my face I actually didn't get a powder so I'm just gonna quickly jump off camera put some loose powder underneath my eyes and then kind of on my t-zone I think and then we're gonna come back to finish off the face so I've just powdered my skin I just kind of powdered my t-zone and my under eyes I use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I will say that the foundation does look a little bit more cakey now I've done that which is kind of annoying because it's kind of a glowy foundation so you would kind of want to powder it why I'm gonna do is I did pick up the Morphe continuous setting mist which I've never had before so I'm super excited to try this I have tried my friends one before but never had my own one so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in with a little spritz of this to try and bring back some life to the skin and try and make it look a little bit less cakey oh that is such a nice mist I don't know why I haven't picked up this product sooner okay so now what I'm going to do is go in with cream blush now this is actually supposed to be a highlighter but it's very very pink and I don't think that it's going to look good as a highlighter on me so I'm going to actually use this as a cream blush and this is actually from Beauty Bay so this is the brand that Beauty Bay have just bought out and this is called the Jelly Glow Highlighter Multi-Use Highlighter so this is in the shade Marshmallow Moonlight and as you can see it is a very pinky kind of toned highlighter so I'm going to use this as a bit of a kind of blush base so I'm going to take this clean sponge that I just literally washed yesterday and I'm just going to press it into this jelly <gasps> oh my god did you see that it lit oh my god wow what am I doing what am I doing okay I pressed that in a little bit too hard so I've got a little bit on my sponge it didn't really saturate the sponge like I wanted to maybe this is not the best way to apply but we're gonna find out oh no I don't think I've done this correctly okay fingers is definitely better because I feel like it's gonna warm the product because kind of just got two like massive splodges on my face now and I feel like this is definitely moving my foundation underneath no this is exactly what you don't want a cream product to do okay yeah so I think it definitely applies better just with your fingers not with the sponge okay so that's all I'm gonna do for that product at the moment it doesn't look awful but I'm not blown away I feel like I need to play around with it a little bit more so next what I'm gonna do is go in with a bit of bronzer and this I actually got as a free gift from Makeup Revolution I think I ordered from Superdrug and if you spent over about 15 pounds on Revolution you get a free gift so this was kind of like given to me I didn't really want this but I got it so anyways this is the Makeup Revolution London contour palette I'm just gonna go in with this shade here on my cheeks as kind of like a bronzer okay so that's actually quite a nice color I thought off the bat that it was a little bit orange but it's actually quite good like I would probably use that again although I don't really think that I'm gonna be keeping this palette just because it's too big and I just won't use the other colors in there I would only use this one so I probably will end up giving this away to someone who would prefer it because I just won't use it probably okay so that bronzer is on it's really not a bad color and it actually blended out quite nicely I did have to work it a little bit more than my kind of usual favorite bronzers but it's really not that bad and considering I got it for free it's obviously really good now I'm gonna go in for blush and this is actually new to me but this is not gonna be new to many of you because this is like a cult product but this is the Milani Luminoso blush which has been such a cult product online for so many years but I've just never had it and I saw it on Beauty Bay and I thought let me just pick it up because everyone always raves about it and says it's the most amazing blush actually really pretty it's definitely more of a corally blush I think I've put on too much though haven't I I've put on too much shit so I'm just gonna go over with whatever's left on my foundation sponge and just tap over the whole lot so we don't look like a clown so for highlighter I actually picked up this palette from Beauty Bay and this is called the Coral Me Back palette and this is from the Beauty Bay kind of line so this is kind of like one of those full face palettes where you get a blush a highlighter and then some eyeshadows in here as well and this was actually half price on their website so I think I picked this up for around six pounds and originally it was 12 pounds which 12 pounds is super cheap anyway so I got this for half price which is even better I thought that this could possibly be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury palette obviously as you can see in this one you get two blushes a highlighter a bronzer and eyeshadow whereas in this one you don't really get a bronzer however this 
this one is £6, this one is £49. So I picked this up mostly because I wanted to see if it was anywhere similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I'm obviously going to report back if it is. So yeah, I'm not going to be using the eyeshadows in this palette today because there's another eyeshadow palette that I want to use more. But I am just going to be taking the highlight in this palette and using it as my highlighter today. So let's see how this works. Oh wow, that's a really nice highlight. I think this highlight as well is actually probably better than the highlighter in the Charlotte Tilbury palette. I'll tell you that now because the highlighter in the Charlotte Tilbury palette really isn't that great. Oh, I'm super impressed that highlight. That is so nice. I would definitely use it again. Okay, so before we go into eyes, I'm just going to use my Morphe spray again just to kind of set everything in place and mesh everything together. Oh, that is such a fine mist. Like it doesn't, it's so fine, it doesn't even feel like it's really touching your face. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. The smell, I'm not a massive fan of. It kind of smells like baby wipes, if you know what I mean, but not very nice baby wipes, like cheap baby wipes. But I can get past that because the mist is so nice and hopefully it will set and kind of like mesh my makeup together as well. Okay, so before we move on to eyes, actually, I'm just going to do my brows because I'm super excited about this. So this is a new product from Revolution Pro. So this is kind of like a dupe situation, possibly, for the Iconic London one, which came out a few months ago. I didn't actually try that one. I haven't got that one but I thought this looked really similar and I've been into really fluffy brows at the moment. So I thought I'd pick this up and use it in today's video. It was only six pounds, I believe. So inside, obviously, as you can see, you get the kind of soap brow bit here and then you do also get this kind of little toothbrush style brush, which is very similar to the brush that comes with the Iconic one. Obviously, the Iconic one is a little bit more fancy, but this is the same sort of thing. I'm just gonna rub this brush thing in here. It's quite a stiff soap. And then I'm just gonna brush my brows in place. So I'm just going to quickly jump off camera and actually fill my brows in and I'm going to do the other brow with this guy and then I'll come back to do the eyes. Okay, so my brows are on. I just did a few little hair strokes. I left them super fluffy and actually I do quite like that soap brows thing. For Revolution, I probably will use that again. Okay, so now the bit I'm most excited for, I'm going to move on to my eyes. Now, <laughs> I picked up a lot of eye palettes. We've got some Dose of Colours singles, we've got some Charlotte Tilbury, we've got some kind of like liquid eyeshadows from Beauty Bay, Code A, I've got Revolution, I've got more Revolution here. So I don't really know what to use, but I think the one that's calling my name the most is this one from Revolution Pro, and this is the Ultimate Eye Look Palette in the shade Diamonds and Pearls. This looks insane. But yeah, don't mind me with my freaking... 400 new palettes even though I literally didn't even need one new palette um I have an actual problem so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the pink shade these do have quite a lot of kick up um just off the bat I don't know if you can see that but there's quite a lot of kick up in the pan and I'm just going to go in and kind of put that in the crease of my eye this is almost going to be like our kind of transition shade this is so nice such a nice pinky color it's almost similar to the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk color Okay, so now that shade is in the crease of both of my eyes, I'm going to go in with a lot smaller brush. And this brush I actually ordered... Oh, just hit myself in the head. This brush I actually ordered two new ones of. I already have it, but I ordered two new ones because this has literally become literally one of my favourite eye brushes. This is the Morphe M506 Tapered Mini Blender Brush. And this is so good for if you want a little bit more detail in your blending. Sometimes if you go in with a too big of brush, it kind of just makes a mess. Whereas this is literally the perfect size to just add a little bit of colour and then kind of blend it out at the same time because it's super fluffy. So I'm gonna use this brand new brush and I'm gonna go into the brown shade. And these are quite, you know, like I said, they do have a lot of kick up, so you do need to make sure you tap off your brush. And then I'm just gonna go into the outer corner and put this on here. I do think this shade isn't gonna be the most pigmented. Yeah, this shade isn't very pigmented to be honest, but I feel like we can build it. So I'm going to be adding the colour with this brush and then I'm actually going to be using the same brush to kind of blend it out a little bit as well. I'm not going to pack too much of this colour on. I'm going to leave it quite subtle because I feel like this colour isn't that pigmented. So it's probably more likely to go quite patchy the more you add on. So I'm going to leave it quite sort of subtly on the outer corner. Okay, so I just went off camera to do the other eye and kind of do a little bit more blending. It's not the best eye look that I've ever done. I feel like that brown could be better. I feel like I've made it look okay. I'm now just going to go in with my favourite brush, which is this Morphe brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of the pink and I'm just going to take that underneath the eye. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of brown and do the same thing, but this time I'm going to keep it very, very focused on the outer corner. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the gold shade and I'm going to take this on my finger. I'm just going to kind of press my finger on my hand to make sure there's no like fully sort of bits. 
rest that on my lid. It's just falling down on my face, which is kind of annoying, but that just did sweep away quite easily. It's a really pretty shade though. It almost looks like a loose glitter. On this eye, I'm actually going to try it with a glitter glue, just to see if that works a little bit better. So I have this one here from Too Faced. This is just a little sample that I have, and I'm just going to put the tiniest little bit on my finger, and then I'm going to apply that to my eye. And then I'm going to use that same finger to grab some product, and then I'm just going to press that on my eye. Okay, so it's definitely working better with the glitter glue underneath. I still have fallout on my face, but as you can see, it's a lot more pigmented with the glitter glue underneath. Okay, so this is what the eye look looks like so far. It's definitely not my best, but it's not my worst. I do actually really like this palette. I feel like it's given me a really nice eye look, but I will say if you do want to get this and use this, I would probably recommend doing your eyes first before you do your face because I do still have quite a lot of glitter fallout left on my face, which I was unable to flick off. And obviously now I've gone in with powder and done all that, I can't really go back over with foundation. So that's a little bit annoying, it's just something to note for the palette and I know for next time that I will do my eyes first. So now I'm going to go in with the shade down here which is the champagne shade and I'm going to take this on a brush and I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. Okay that shade is really pretty though. I feel like this is such a good palette for, you know, like if you're going on a night out and you're getting ready at someone else's house and you just need that one palette that's going to be able to give you like a glam look and it's going to look really good with kind of any outfit and any eye colour. This is the palette for you. Like it's a really nice glam eye look and it really didn't take that long and it's not that much fuss. Obviously you just need to do your eyes first. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the Feline Flick and this is the Magic Moon Formula Eyeliner in the shade Super Brown. So I'm just going to go in and do a wing with this. This is such a good brown shade, like it's such a perfect kind of chocolatey colour. Okay, so that is the liner done. My thoughts are that I do actually quite like it. It's definitely a good brown eyeliner. It did dry out a little bit at the tip, so it was quite hard to make it a really kind of pointy line at the end. I personally prefer the eyeliners that have kind of like brush hairs as opposed to like a felt pen because I find that often happens. But I actually really like the shade of this brown. So I'm just going to really quickly curl my lashes and then I'm going to go in with some mascara. Okay, so the mascara that I'm going to go in with is the Kodé Lash Sophisticate High Definition Mascara. This one I've used once or twice before. So again, it's not a complete first impressions, but I kept it in the packaging. So I'm just going to put a layer of this on my lashes. So now for lips, I'm just going to go in with the Morphe lip liner in the shade Bite Me. So this is quite a brown lip liner for me and I didn't actually pick up a lipstick. So I'm just going to kind of fill my lips in with this and then probably just go in with a gloss on top. So on top of the liner, I just went in with this crayon from Laura Mercier and this is the Respect Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. And I just went in in the centre with that and then I just went in with this Kiko kind of plumping clear lip gloss. Now I'm just going to give myself one more spritz of my Morphe spray. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly take you over to the window where we can have some natural light so we can see all of the makeup in a natural light setting. Okay guys, so we are over by the window now and this is what the makeup looks like in more natural lighting. So yeah, as you can see, it's still quite flawless even in the kind of like more natural lighting. So yeah, I'm definitely quite impressed with all the products that I used. I can't really sort of pick out at the moment like if there was anything that I was roughly like disappointed in. For me, they were all pretty good and they sort of did what they said on the tin. Right, so that is it for the video guys. I really hope you you enjoyed it if you did then please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already that would be amazing thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye